Hola, hola, hi everyone. Let me go here and share a link with you. We will be talking about forgiveness today. What is the course teaching about forgiveness? What the heck is forgiveness based on the course? And how to live it. Are you guys ready to rumble? Give me a thumbs up if you want to know what is forgiveness based on the course and how to live it. We'll be going over an epic binder from Pathways of Light. I'm putting their link here. So you can find this incredible binder that really helps with understanding the Course of Miracles. So this is an incredible tool, pathwaysoflight.org. Um, pathwaysoflight.org. There you go. So that's where you can get this binder I'm going to be talking from. It's called Introduction to a Course of Miracles. This is Course 203. Um, Pathways of Light has incredible courses. Um, this is one of them, and I wanted to share with you what they what they share about forgiveness. I'll be going over this, the role, um, the role of forgiveness in freeing us from pain and suffering. Um, <coughs> it's incredible. So welcome, welcome everyone. First things first, this upcoming Monday is our free class. You know, every month, um, this will be the second one I do every single month. I do a free um, online class for my ACIM community for the Instagram folks on here. And the next one is this Monday. And we will be going deep on the subject I will be going over today, which is forgiveness, the role of forgiveness in our lives, how to practice it. And you can go ahead and register for that on my latest story. You just swipe up or go to the link tree to register for the class. It's free and it's incredible, the community that's building there. When you register, you have access to last month's class on there as well. And it's, you have, it's a free access to that class. So um, last month's class was incredible too. It was an introduction on the course. So check it out. Hola, Germán. My amazing happy ambassador is here. Um, so let's get started, everyone. How are you all doing? That's first off. How are we doing? How are we feeling? Um, today, I, I just felt really called to, to show up here and, and share spontaneously. I'm going to be sharing with you a practice of forgiveness, a three-step practice on what forgiveness and how to do this practice. It's incredible. Um, it's called practicing forgiveness and um, he says or she says how do we register um, just go to the link tree on this profile which is the link that's on my profile click on there and you'll be you'll see on the top free ACIM class you can also go to the latest story and swipe up as well to join the free class that's happening this Monday on Crowdcast it's gonna be live and it's gonna be incredible <coughs> alright guys I'm just getting over some I'm getting over pneumonia, by the way. I um, I just took some magic. You know, the Course of Miracles says when you need magic, just take the magic and and forgive yourself, right? So I um, I've been taking the Z Pack, which is antibiotics, and I I'm already done with it. So I'm almost done with this incredible cough. Um, one of the ways that I practice forgiveness with my cough actually is that I welcomed it. You know, I I told my cough that it never has to go away if it doesn't want to. Um, I talked to my cough and, and said, um, thank you lungs for functioning so much till this time, for functioning so well, for always being there, for working miraculously and to continue doing what you're doing and whatever you're doing, I accept that. <laughs> so that's how I talk to my cough and it's incredible how um, there's just no guilt in that and there's just complete forgiveness and acceptance of reality. So I'm coughing, choose, do I wanna suffer? Or do I want um, to be free of the suffering? So if I'm thinking and believing that the cough is a pain in the ass, well then I'm going to experience that suffering. But if I'm thinking and believing that my cough is exactly perfect and obviously I'm supposed to be coughing because I'm coughing, then I have forgiven. <laughs> so that's a perfect example of forgiveness right there. Um, first off, can you guys hear me well? Because I have these um, these AirPods, these, um, I, I, you know, I don't know, these things. 
<laughs> so let me know if you can hear me. If you can't, just let me know. And uh, I appreciate you all being here. All right, are you guys ready to rumble? First off, I am Maria. I appear to be Maria Felipe. I am a friend. Um, I, a lot of people call me a teacher, but I feel more so that I'm a friend and um, just showing up to share my experiences of the Course in Miracles and um, help any way I can with any sharing, um, ultimately knowing that there's really nothing to help, there's nobody to help because we're all um, equally um, enlightened and we're all equally awake and um, nobody, nobody needs anything. <laughs> That's the truth. Um, but as a friend, I love to show up and, and share and, and share my thoughts. And so here I am. I have been studying the course since 2000. Um, and I became a minister uh, exactly from Pathways of Light, which is where this binder is from that I'm sharing from. If you guys want the link to pathwaysoflight.org, it's at the beginning of this link of where you can find of this live. On the chat, you can find the link to Pathways of Light. They're a uh, university they're like I would say like the university uh, university of the course of miracles where you take classes there and you can become a minister based on the course and it's incredible um, <clears throat> when I became a minister um, in 2012 I began <clears throat> speaking at non-denominational churches about the course of miracles usually unity churches and then I began to do one-on-one -on -one sessions accessing inner wisdom counseling eight-week programs online classes and the rest is history. So um, I'm just one that I love to share and I love to show up and, and do this work together. So what is forgiveness based on the Course in Miracles? Okay, so let's start there. What is forgiveness based on the Course in Miracles? How many of you would like to know what is forgiveness based on the Course in Miracles? Let me have the dancing girl or the dancing guy. I want to see the dancing girl, the dancing guy. If you guys are the emoji, if you guys are ready to, to know what is forgiveness based on the Course in Miracles. As soon as I have my first dancing person, I will share. There we go. There comes the first dancing girl. All right, here we go. I feel like we're playing bingo. We're playing bingo here. <laughs> All right. Forgiveness, and I'm reading it straight from my sheet that I have here, okay? And then I'll elaborate, but forgiveness is a thought reversal, a shift of perception. That is forgiveness, that's simple. It's thought reversal, it's undoing, <coughs> it's undoing what you, the thought, it's undoing that belief. I've noticed throughout time and, and studying from Byron Katie, which is an incredible mentor for me, she's a teacher, she's incredible. Um, Byron Katie, she talks about how, you know, um, when I believe my thoughts, I suffer. When I believe my, my separated thoughts, I suffer. And when I don't believe my thoughts, I don't suffer. Okay? So that's what forgiveness is. Forgiveness is thought reversal, shift of perception. So when you don't believe the limiting thought anymore, when you don't believe your story, when you don't believe the caca, okay? Remember, the caca is the egoic mind. You know, I like to say caca thinking. When you're not believing the caca, then you have had a change of perception and you have forgiven. As I was talking about my, me having pneumonia and having the cough, how I was able to see the cough differently by embracing the cough, allowing the cough to be getting really excited that, that you know, being open to the cough happening again, getting, you know, looking forward to not sleeping because my cough is happening is non-resistant because obviously um, I'm, I'm coughing and, and, I'm, and I'm supposed to be coughing because I'm coughing, all right? So that's just an example of everyday things. This is just like, you know, I'm talking about my health right now because it's something that I just just went through, but you can use it for every anything. So the Course tells us that forgiveness is a process guided by the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is our inner teacher. Our inner, our, 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 the Holy Spirit is our higher self. Our Holy Spirit, you can call it our, our goddessness, our godness, um, our true self, our true nature. Holy Spirit is our mighty companion. Holy Spirit is knows that we're asleep, connected to God ultimately, and very gently waking us up, okay? So the Holy Spirit is part of the process of forgiveness because the Holy Spirit is you, your true self. And when you're so willing to let go of that belief and thought, 
Holy Spirit is there to hold your hand, which is actually you, to hold your own hand because that's the, our, the innocent part of us to come back home to our Father's arms, okay? So, the Course in Miracles tells us that forgiveness is a process guided by the Holy Spirit where our untrue perceptions, our false ideas about reality are healed, are healed, okay? Ricardo, I'm so happy I'm able to help you. Well, not even help, not even able to help you, but just able to help us help, help myself by sharing, right? So thank you, Ricardo, for sharing that. Um, I love the synchronicity and when this is such a beautiful, happy, friendly universe when we're, um, when we're seeing it that way, when we're forgiving, right? Um, forgiveness is being willing to receive instruction, okay? So willing to receive instruction, a correction in the way we're looking at things. It is becoming willing to receive a reinterpretation or change in the way we are looking at the world. Okay, so forgiveness, world, worldly forgiveness is a forgiveness that is based on making things real. So I'm gonna forgive you because something really happened and the forgiveness of the world is kind of like, I forgive because I feel guilty or I forgive because I want to be the better person. And the forgiveness is very, it's very, you know, sad and, and, and makes things that makes the world very real. The forgiveness of the course, what it's teaching us is actually nothing is, has really ever happened, right? It's only happening in your thoughts. It's only th happening in your beliefs. It's, it's what you're thinking and believing that is really hurting you. And you need to heal what you're thinking and believing. And then forgiveness has taken place. Now, you think that you're forgiving something outside of you in step two. I'll share with you the three steps to, to the practice in a second. But the step two, when the first step is take responsibility, the second step, and I don't, I don't want to go over it just a second, but when, you, when you're thinking that you're forgiving your brother for what they didn't do, which is what the Course is instructing us, you're actually forgiving them for what they didn't do, but you're actually not really even forgiving them because... In reality, they have forgotten who they are because everything is love or a call for love. I know forgiveness is one of the hardest things. It took me so long, guys, to understand forgiveness, um, to start practicing it. Um, it's, it's, it's something that I think took, took me many, many years. And I don't want to put that on you guys because, you know, you can, you can understand forgiveness in a heartbeat. You can understand forgiveness right now, right? That was just my experience. So, um, so how's... Um, house uh, Ashan, Ashana, I think she says, willing to receive instruction brings a, up a little resistance to authority, just a pinch. Yeah, um, it, it does because we want to be the authority, we want to have the authority, we want to control, we want to manipulate, and, and I just want to say good luck with that for us, you know, good luck with that because when we're trying to be the authority, when we're trying to think we could do it better than God, what happens is we suffer and we suffer a lot. When we let go of the resistance, when we when we know that that this is a friendly universe, and we know that we're so loved and so taken care of by our Father, there is nothing to do but love, and love is encompassing. You know, love doesn't judge. Love is accepting. Love is is looking beyond the veil of illusion. So, one more thing here before. Um, and again, I'm going to be speaking more to this subject on Monday live at 3 p.m. Eastern. So definitely sign up for the class that's on Monday. Um, <clears throat> so here we go. And then I'm going to go into the three steps. Okay. Accepting true perception from the Holy Spirit is the same as allowing our false perceptions. Um, same as allowing our false perceptions of separation or sin to be undone or forgiven. With true perception, we let go of our belief in what never was. Okay? We let go of the grievance and get against God's oneness. We let go of the barriers to God's universal love, which comes from trying to make up a separate reality. Okay? When the Course defines forgiveness, it means forgiveness of illusions. Okay? So we're forgiving illusions. We're forgiving well, what is hurting us, we're forgiving what is giving us that suffering. And it doesn't mean that we, you know, forgive. Um, and the pain, you know, doesn't, is not still there. Um, when you have a grievance that's pretty intense, you're really believing it and it's going to take time to undo. But I, I can say that with my experience, the more that I am willing to understand that I am responsible for what I'm thinking and believing, 
when I take responsibility for my thoughts, for what I'm experiencing, for everything, I am so much more in my joy. I'm so much more my true self. And I'm so much more in love with myself, married to myself. You know, I do appear that I'm married to um, a person, but I feel like marriage is really my marriage to God, my marriage to myself. And when I'm marrying, when I continue to marry myself, I, I have this vow to understand that I'm really married to God and that one of my vows is to forgive. One of my vows is to forgive. And I know that when I forgive and I really see in my true holiness and perception, I see my brother, my, 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 my husband in form in his true nature. I see my little toddler Ari in his true nature. I see you in your true nature. And most importantly, <laughs> I see myself in my true nature. And, and I experience the love of God. I experience God. God is love. God is in me. I am God's daughter and child. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead to the pr practice of forgiveness. So if you guys want to um, go ahead and, and learn what is the three-step pr pr practice to forgiveness, um, I want to have um, the, the dove. So there's like a dove, like a bird. And the emoji, you know, it's a white bird and it's flying. And I think it has like a green little plant or something. I want my white bird and then I'll give you the three steps to practicing forgiveness while I have some water. So let's find that emoji, the little white bird. Where's my Holy Spirit bird? <clears throat> Has anybody found the bird yet? Wow, you guys are slow. <laughs> Practicing forgiveness. We have three steps. Where's my white dove? Hold on a second. There's my doves. There they are. Is this are those doves you guys think? Yeah, I think those are white doves. Thank you so much. My white doves are coming. They're coming. Okay, perfect. I'm happy you guys are listening. All right. Practicing forgiveness. Three steps. Thank you so much for my doves. They keep on coming in. I love it. Oh my God. More doves. And more. More doves are coming. <laughs> Ah, and more and tons of and more doves. <laughs> All right, guys, I got the message. <laughs> oh my God, I just love you guys so much. Love you guys like a big coconut. All right, three steps. I'll be going more in depth in these three steps on Monday. Please, you know, sign up for the class on Monday. I would love to see you there. Um, 3 p.m. Eastern on Monday. Practicing forgiveness. One, take an honest look at how you are perceiving someone who upsets you, bring to full awareness the condemning thoughts you hide and search your mind for unloving loving thoughts. So first step is to search your mind for unloving thoughts. Look at what you're thinking and believing. What is it that's bothering you? Okay, so let's start there. So let's think of a thought. All right, you guys want to give me a thought that I can work with to, to give an example of this? Let me know. Okay, two, realize that the guilt you see in the other is not the truth about them. Oh, I love that. Somebody found me a swan. I like the swan there. Thank you. All right. Um, be willing to wipe the slate clean and ask to be shown something beyond the sight of your eyes and the grasp of your ego. So the first step is responsibility. Take responsibility for your thoughts. Um, take an honest look at them. You know, are they really true? You can ask yourself or, um, you know, what is really real here? Okay. Um, and then the third one is, thank you for that thought. I, I, I could work on that thought actually. Um, ask the Holy Spirit's insight. Ask for something that can awaken your sense of love and oneness and your innate desire to give only love. Okay. So those are the third steps. First step is take an honest look at what you're thinking and believing. You know, look into that. Second step is realize that the guilt you see in the other is not the truth about them. And the third step is ask Holy Spirit to see it differently. Okay. Um, Ricardo says, I can't believe he did this to me. Why did he keep the truth from me? He's a player. Okay, Ricardo, that's a good, that's a good one. Um, should I, should I go into this thought? Because I have to wrap it up here. It's going to take me a little bit. But let me have... Let me have something to eat. Let me have 
some fruits. I want an emoji of fruits. <coughs> All right. I want an emoji of fruits. So let's go ahead and <clears throat> give me fruits emoji and then let's go ahead and, and dissect this, this thought. So the thought is, I can't believe he did this to me. All right, let's go for it. Okay, I like that green fruit. Thank you for the apple. Yum, yum. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. My, my, my son would say, that's an apple and that's a green apple and that's a pear. Yum. Thank you for the fruits. I feel better now. You guys are so sweet. I don't know how that even started happening. I started asking you guys for emojis. I love how how joyful this can be. All right. So um, I can't believe you did this to me. All right. So this thought, I can't believe you did this to me. I take responsibility. So first step is, oh my God, I can't believe you did this to me. Okay. This thought is hurting me, right? Um, and this thought is coming from me. I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe he's doing to me. Um, I'm a victim. I'm so upset. He's such a jerk. Oh my God. What a, what a, whatever, right? Um, he, this really happened. Poor me. All right. So first we have to take responsibility. That's the first step is looking at, at that. <clears throat> the thought is not coming from the other person. It's coming from you. It's what you're, the story you have about them is what you're thinking and believing about them. Okay. So first step, we already have it because we're looking at honestly at our thoughts. We're looking honestly, like I'm believing that this person is, is the problem and I'm believing that this person is the cause of my upset. Not only that, I have a huge judgment about this person, which is I can't believe he did this to me. He's a, and I even have a judgment with, which is that he's a player, right? So again, I'm working on somebody's thought, which is Ricardo gave me that thought, okay? Um, so Ricardo, just so you know, if this is your question of whoever is going through something like this, I just want you to know that in reality, the Course in Miracles is teaching us that you could never be hurt ever, you can never be hurt, is your beliefs and your thoughts about the situation that's hurting you. There is nobody that has the power to hurt you. How could God's perfect child have get hurt? It's just impossible. It, we believe that when we fall asleep in the dream. But when we have a clear mind, when we have our thoughts in order, when we have forgiven, when we have a change of perception, we have a clear mind and we realize it and we wake up. But of course, if we're in our limited mind thinking and we're really believing that we could be hurt and we are in victimization mode, of course, we're in the little dream of separation and you're doing the very best you can. So honey, sweetheart, please be gentle with yourself. Be gentle with yourself because you're doing the best you can at that moment with what you're thinking and believing. Okay, second step is to realize that the guilt you see in the other is not the truth about them so if that person is a player or that person is dot 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 that's not your issue it's not your problem because that person you know everybody's on their dream journey and everyone you know acts accordingly to their thoughts and beliefs so everything is love or a call for love um so we wipe the slate clean so that means we see that person in its innocence you know and what i like to do is okay it's kind of merge here with Byron Katie's work with, which is, you know, um, is this really true? Is it really true that, um, wait a second, what's the thing again? I can't believe that they did this to me. You know, this person's a player. Is that really true? Well, um, when I look at it, it sure damn seems true because, you know, I'm hurt and I've experienced this person as a player. So, you know, um, it feels true to me. Okay, well, let's go. Well, what am I thinking here? So, Holy Spirit, is this really true um, about this person? Okay. You know, and just go inside and ask, you know, what, what is, what is, what is really real here? You know, um, how, how am I when I think this thought, you know, the first step, right? The responsibility, like, how am I? Oh my God, I feel victimized. I feel hurt. Um, and, and what if I don't believe this thought? You know what, how am I, if I don't believe this thought, Holy Spirit, show me what it looks like when I don't believe this thought. So when I don't believe this thought that he's a player and that, um, what is it? I keep on forgetting the first one. I have dyslexia. I can't believe he did this to me. He's such a player, right? I don't have this thought. Then if I don't have this thought, then I'm unhurt. I'm, I'm free. You know, when I don't have the thought that he's, he, I can't believe he did this to me or he's not a player. I, um. I'm actually, there's a happiness there. And that, this happens with my husband too, because when I'm really loving, love has no demand. So when you're loving, you let the person off the hook and you actually want that person to be happy and be where they want to be. So how do I know that that person needs to be with me? I mean, that's, that's not love. So it's kind of like, 
oh wow okay they're they're happy and they're doing whatever they need to do that's and you know need to be where they want to be and that's just the way of it you know and the way of it is that this is it and and I love my brother and I want him to be where he wants to be that's love you know that's real love and I know it's hard to say because of the circumstances sometimes but so that's the third step, what I just received the inside. I asked Holy Spirit right there, ask for something that can awaken your sense of love and oneness and your innate desire to give only love, right? So it's super radical, but I always think about this. I think about, well, you know, my husband, you know, it's like, I want my husband to be where he wants to be. And I want my husband to love who he wants to love. Who am I to say who he loves and who he doesn't love? That is not love, you know, and that's just the way of it. That's forgiveness. It appears like right now he loves me and he adores me, right? It does seem like that. And, and at the same time is having that non-attachment to that, you know, into that trust of like right now it appears this way and things are always constantly changing. So we need to have um, um, confidence in truth in God and we need to trust and know that Love is letting go. Love is not having expectations. Love is placing no demands. Love is no, no judgment. And we're here to practice what the Course in Miracles is teaching is forgiveness. <coughs> All right, guys. <clears throat> Join me this Monday at 3 p.m. Eastern on Crowdcast for our next Course in Miracles class. We have a class every Monday, a free class for one hour on a different theme. And this theme, we're going over the role of forgiveness in freeing us from pain and suffering. I also want to thank all of you that have bought my book, Live Your Happy. Um, there's so many of you out there. I feel like there's a movement that's starting. Um, you can go ahead and get an Amazon. It's on there or from New World Library, which is the publisher. It's an, it's an incredible um, uh, companion to The Course in Miracles. And I can't help but say, but it's really helping many understand its principles, but more importantly, how to live it. Um, so it, it really, really helps also to motivate you to read the course in a very deep way and have more of an understanding of its um, themes. All right. Um, the thought I believe I have created is not mine. It is the ego's thought. My salvation is in believing the opposite of the ego. Thank you. I am spirit me. I'll end with that. That's beautiful. All right, everyone, have a beautiful day filled with love and light. Until next time, see you Monday. Mwah. Un besito grande.